Football field continues to be a national discussion. Tonight, engineering students at WMU are working on a way to track concussions when they happen so they can be treated more effectively. And new at 6, 24-hour news 8's Danny Carlson got a chance to see the prototype for this new type of helmet. Danny? Brian and Sue, we got inside the lab today to see a version of the helmet that measures hits. And just to give you guys an idea, a high impact is about the equivalent of running your head into a wall at 20 miles an hour. Concussions on the fields of West Michigan are a reality. They've happened, and these are just some of the cases we know about. I just had out of play, and then the next play told me to go back out there because the team needed me. So what if you knew right away that a concussion was a probability? Some engineering students at Western Michigan University think they can solve or at least track the big concussion problem with this small batch of flexible sensors. These are individual sensors that can map the force or impacts felt in the sports field. This is just a lab prototype. The finished helmet will have sensors all over the inside that will track in real time and send to a smartphone app where and how hard a player gets hit. And then that app will keep track of those hits throughout the season, taking the guesswork out of safety on the sidelines. Introducing a system like ours would be uh, able to act as a first line of defense where the coach would have enough information to decide if he needs to pull the player out and take him to your phys physician for more analysis or not. Okay, fellas. The students have formed a company. They are now trying to get funding and hope to be able to field test helmets within six months of getting that funding. Mm. It's exciting to see the advancements that they're making. And, you know, seeing students come up with these ideas, yeah. is, you know, it's really neat. Yeah, and it's really, as I was telling you guys during the story, the real breakthrough is that the sensors are able to be so flexible. So you can actually just put them inside of the helmet, get that real-time data. They're still thin enough. People will still want to wear the helmet, so they'll still be comfortable. So that's really the, the breakthrough that's exciting. And all that information. Great. Yep. Okay, thank you, Danny. Danny, thank you.